Do you want to learn how to use Hoko's AI website builder? In this video, I'll help solve that problem. All the tools mentioned in this video are in the description. The first link is going to take you over to this page. With Hoko's, you can build a professional business website in minutes with AI. And it's a direct competitor to Durable.o, which is also an AI website builder. With Hoko's AI website builder, you can create a portfolio, store, blog, or any business website with AI. Now, with Hoko's, you have AI logo generator, AI image generator, and AI website content generator. Now, once you're ready, click on this login button, and it's going to take you over to this wizard page. Here, it will first ask you what category best describes your website's purpose. Is it a store? Is it a, ser a service page, portfolio, or blog? And now below it, it will give you information. Choose a short category name with key terms for better search results. And so do not just type in shop. Don't do that. Uh, it's great to type in the type of shop you want. Like example, do not write in, I want to create a F affiliate marketing website that specializes on cosmetics and beauty products. Instead of that, write in beauty affiliate marketing agency. So for my use case, I'm going to type in pet accessories, pet accessory store. Under it, it will, uh, it will give you popular categories that you might like. Let's select this pet accessory shop and continue. Now you can personalize your website by selecting the services you wish to offer. You can modify this later, but for now I'm going to select some of them. Pet grooming supplies, pet uh, travel essentials, apparel, toys and enrichment and continue. Now on the next page is going to ask you what do you want to do with your website. This will help us create tools and pages you need. So if you want to collect testimonials or get bookings, you can select these and it is going to check these as well. We will also select write a blog and get new customers. We will select all of them and continue. Now, next up is going to ask you where your business is physically based, like a store address or where you're trying to drop ship your items or have an e-commerce store. You can enter the business address, service area, online business only. You can select any of these. Let's just select the online business only for now. What do you want your business to be called? I'm going to type in Casa Paus and continue. Next is going to ask you to highlight three unique aspects of your business. Let's say affordable prices, loyalty programs, and friendly service. You can also click on show more and uh, select any of these, but you can only select three. So I've selected three of them, three of these and continue. Now the second last step is going to ask you where your website visitors will contact you. you give your phone number, your email address, or a contact form. So for this purpose, I'm just going to keep the contact form and continue. Now it has generated three templates for our website and you can choose any of them. I'll choose this green one and continue. Now you can change the color palette from the right hand side. I think the first one was best and continue. Now it's going to ask you if you want to change the font. This one looks good for a pet store. Continue. Now here it's generating the website. So here we are on the website editor and I've clicked the first section and we got this box. First option is AI redesign. I can generate this whole design with AI again. And it's going to redesign the whole first section. Uh, the second option is change variation. So these are all the widget variations. I can make it uh, make the picture go to the left and have the box appear on the right hand side. With this one, save changes. This is it. Now there are properties next. Widget properties, you can change the image. Either edit the image, crop it, or lower the size by uh, dragging these corners or complete image with AI. You can ask the AI to generate an image. In the free version, you can generate five images, give it an alt text, and you can also upload from your phone or computer if you have an image that you want to put, or you can go for free images. These are all the free images for pet accessory shop. And you can see the place they have, they are taking these images from, and these are from Unsplash. And let's say I select any of them, this one. Now click on save. Now you can change the text from here, the title text, this one. I can remove things on it or add new text, change the description text, change the color of the text and a lot more from this side. And below it, we've got button label, which is learn more at the moment and button label for buy now. On the right hand side, it says, where do you want to li link this button to? 
So for learn more, it's a page. You can click on it. It's going to give you a drop down. You can make it a pop up, pop up, a file, phone, email, page type, general pages, collection pages. Now down here, we got widget width. It can be a wide or a narrow width. Parallax animation for image and save changes. Now the same thing you can do on the front end as well. You do not want to, you do not have to go inside the widget controls. You just click on the front end and make changes. Add text here like this. And same for the description and buy now. And if you want to change the, where does this button link to, just click on this link and change from here. You can duplicate the widget, move it up or down, hide or unshow or delete this uh, widget completely. Now let's click on the new widget button and it's going to give you all the widgets that they currently have available. So the elements, banner, sliders, gallery or store elements, pop-ups, all, all are there. I can add a video with the elements, video elements. Let's click on this and it's going to add a video element here. And then you can make an autoplay, play video automatically, change the video, change the link to a video and it's going to change it on your uh, front end. Just embed the link. Go to YouTube and uh, select any of these videos or if you have your own video, just uh, click on these three dots and share. And then down here, you will have the link. Copy it and go back here. Paste on this page, which says link to. It's going to change the image as well. Now, if you change the video and if you want to put your own video here from your computer, you cannot do it because you need to upgrade to a paid plan for that purpose. Let's scroll down. You'll find our client's uh, slider. And this one is probably Instagram slider. Now these are social links. You can add your social links here by clicking on this link button and change the, the network type and the link to it. Now on the footer, we've got this logo. It just says logo in a text format. So let's click on AI and see if it can generate a logo for us. Generating the content for pet accessory shop. Keep and continue. So choose the style of logo you want. Let's click on realistic. Select and generate with AI. With free version, you can only generate up to one AI logo. And if you want to upgrade, just click on upgrade and it's going to show you pricing plan for it. With premium. 1000 AI text generation and 8 blog post generations by AI. Now out of these, I am not liking any of them. But let's just select the first one and select and our logo is here. Now for the footer again, you can change variation and make it in different styles. Change the color of the design, like make the background color white and text color to black. Same for the header. I can go into design and change the background color to white. Menu item to black. Menu item hover to maybe something like purple. Now this is what you can do with the editor. Now on the, on the left hand side, you'll find these menu buttons. First one is section. This is again, the same thing, the widget, new widget add button, this one, and all pages. These are all the pages you currently have. Testimonials, contact us. We can switch to one page to another page. This is the contact us page. And this is the menu link to it. You can edit it from here. So you can just make it contact and enter. And when you click on this contact button on your menu menu bar, it's going to take you over to this page, which is the contact us page. You can add a new page from here by clicking this button and just decide what, what page type do you want this new page to be. So it can be our teams page or gallery, FAQ, testimonials. Select one of them and it's going to make a new page from that. Let's just go with press and the second one. And there you go. This is This was easy. Just a simple button and it created a whole entire page right in front of you. Now let's go back to all pages and these are all the cog icons next to these page types. Click it and it's going to give you edit page, rename page, add to menu. So if you created a new page and the, it's not on the menu, you can add to menu like this. Simple. Drag these pages on the menu up and down like this. You can reorder the pages drag the blog above and it's going to move it next to about us. Now let's close this and down here we got store and it asks if you need a filter. So if you do not want a filter, select the first one or if you need a filter, select the second one and continue. Now it says that this is an example of your store. 
So let's create a new product. This is our first product. I'm going to change the name of this. Change the amount, whatever you want uh, the amount to be, to sell this on your store. I can make it 800. Now you can change the description. You can use the AI writer to write the description. And it says that you can use it 20 times on the free version. You cannot use the tone of voice in the free plan. And the original text, this is the original text. I will click on this, which is a new text with AI. The main ideas or keywords, let's say pet, cat, chain, keychain in green color. Cat keychain in green color, generate with AI. And these are some of the suggestions that AI gave. Now you can select any one of them and replace with selected. You can make changes to it by clicking and correcting it. And on the top, you're going to find these two items, which is the first one is changing the font, making it bold and such. And next to it, you can change the color of the text. You can add rates to your reviews to make it more visual. So these are the reviews, review stars. I can add, make it five stars or make it four stars like this. Change the SQ, SKU for this, available in stock or not in stock, this thing. Automatically track the inventory. You can check this and make it items in stock, make it 50 or how many, how many ever you have in your stock at the moment. Now create a new block and you've got these uh, block types, shipping and return, promo banner. This I've seen a lot in e-com stores. Save checkout. You can add a padlock next to your store and save changes. Change the image of your product image. Make from AI, add keychain, green, and red. You can add your own products image, the real products image. I'm just using an AI to show that how it works. Just save it here and it's going to save the products image. And then you can add more to the gallery. Move this. So this one will be the featured image. So I will move this. I'll move this to the right. Make the left one the featured image. You can change the label of this product. So make it new. Change the color of this. Now once you're done with the editing, on the top you're going to find a uh, widget design. You can change the background and text from here. Control uh, side slider control views. The left and right controls. You can also ma make the slides play automatically and uh, change the speed of the automatic slide playing. Now, once you're done, on the top you'll find drafts, make it published, and the page has been active. Now, if you go to store, now if you go to store, in the store on, on my products, I'm going to find the product here, which is published, and all the others are demo products. I can just remove them by clicking on delete. This is the shopping cart design. You can change how your checkout page looks like. You can also add a frequently bought together and add all to cart a button. Now next we have checkout template. In checkout template is first going to give you a pop-up. It says payments. So you can select the country of your payment currency that your store will have. Once you've selected that, you can have these, you have these two payment processors. First one is Stripe. The other one is PayPal. Select any of them. Just click on enable, connect and connect with your payment processor. This is the purchase confirmation page. This is how it will look like when someone purchases your products and they get this page for thank you for your purchase page. And it gives them the ID, the order ID, the total price of your order and your invoice. Now on the left hand side, below the store, we have blog. And this is again going to get us to a wizard page where you need to answer a few questions like, it says, tell us how many blog posts do you have ready to go? I have a few already prepared and continue. Where would you like your sidebar? You can add a sidebar. So you can just ask the AI to add a sidebar. Let's add it to the right side. Choose a layout structure. This does not look good. I'm just going to choose this one. Continue. And there you go. Now you can change the design of this uh, blog page. These are all the demo blogs that Focus has created for us. You can publish them, go inside them, or go inside them and edit edit these blog posts. It's a very intuitive editor. So you can just make changes to it just by clicking and editing it. Once you're done, go back. Next, we have upload. 
So you can upload uh, an image from your computer or phone three images which I already showed you before. This is from Unsplash and videos. This you cannot use on the free version audio audio file. You can import an audio file to Hocos. This could be good if you have a blog and you want to put an audio on the top so that the person who comes to your blog they can listen to your blog post instead of reading it. Read the whole blog and record it into an mp3 file and upload it on this page. This is files. Here you can import doc files or pdf and such. They also have an app store. In Hoko's apps they have got these uh, testimonial store. These are already activated. You can deactivate it. If you do not want the blog you can just deactivate this from here. You can add a whatsapp plugin. You can add a whatsapp message bubble on your website. So that people can click it and they can talk with you on whatsapp they also have google ads plugin uh, let's say you are making ads for your products on facebook you would need facebook pixels you can just activate it here and add the pixel code this is another chat live chat plugin this is talk.2 google search console and google analytics these are there now next to it we've got blog settings this i think is because we are on the blog Let's just go back to the front page. Then once you have edited the whole website and you are completely satisfied with it, click on this view website button and it's going to show you the home page in real time. Then you can browse around the website, go to different links like the store, blog. And as you can see, everything is working fine. You can also go to the wish list and also open the products and also open the cart. Currently, this is the website link which uh, they have put you on a subdomain. And you can get a custom domain. If you buy one of their plans, premium plans, you will get a one. You will get one domain for free for a year. That is only possible if you pay yearly. Now you can buy a domain from here. Just type your domain name, and it's going to search and give you the price for each of these domains, which are currently available. And you, and, and then you can click on this buy button. Now for buying domains, I would suggest going for Namecheap. I have got a lot of domains here and. The site is working fine. None of my domains have been disabled so far. A really good service. Once you have got your domain from here, just click on this connect existing domain. Type your domain name. And this requires a paid plan. So it's going to give you this uh, pricing page. So currently they have a deal on Halloween. The monthly plan is available for $1, which was $15 before. This is just for one time. So next time you will have to pay $15 and with the monthly premium you can accept payments to remove the Hoko's branding, get email marketing tools and a lot more. You can also connect your custom domain. Now with yearly you will you'll be saving $105. This is $225 and you can get it for $120 for the whole year. And with the yearly you are also getting a free custom domain so you do not have to pay for the domain separately and you are also going to get professional mail service for 12 months and if you do not care about this and you want a custom website domain and a 12 months professional mail you can just get the domain from Namecheap and get your professional email made for free with the help of Zoho Mail. They have a forever free plan and you can get up to 5 users and 25 MB attachment limit and 5 GB per user. This is how to use Hoko's AI website builder. Did this video help solve your problem? Let me know with a like and comment.